Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, new highs again tomorrow. My, my target remains upper band. You can see the bands starting to expand. Our, our initial price magnet was this high here, 1985.75. We made it through that on Wednesday, and we continue to push higher. We pull back as far as uh, 1983 in the overnight. If recent history, meaning this week plays out, that, that just might be your dip. There's really been not much going on in the regular trading session this week. It's been it's been dead. I mean if 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 you're long like we are, then you just you just have to wait. I mean you just wait and you let it grind higher. If you're short, you could really got yourself into a lot of trouble this week because there really hasn't been a discernible dip in the regular session. And if you're not willing to get long on what's basically a fairly lousy setup in midweek, you know, in midday rather, uh, you can sit around and you'll get pretty bored. And bored traders tend to do things that aren't real good for their accounts. So today is uh, Yellen speech and Draghi speech. And depending on who you talk to, it's either going to be really, really huge for the markets or it's going to be a complete non-event snoozer for the markets and we're just going to move on. Um, for my part, I'm just going to wait and see what happens. I'm going to take this just the way I take anything else, whether it's the jobs report, the non-farm, you know, the, the, the jobs report or FOMC announcement or, or whatever. And we'll see if there's a reaction to it. Then my suggestion, my suggestion is not putting anything huge on before trying to game it. Um, if there's a, if there's a major reaction, then that'll produce a, a range. And then whoever breaks out of that range, either, either above or below, there'll be trading opportunities there. But don't let your boredom from this week. And, you know, people are saying, well, how can you say it's been boring this week? The week low was 55.75, and now we're trading up at 19.92. Yeah, four days later on, on a daily chart, it looks great. It looks like, well, you can't, but as far as the ebb and flow of trading, it's been awful for futures traders this week. There's really no good regular day opportunities to find a, a discernible dip to get long. And if there's no discernible dip to get long, there's nothing for the shorts to short to turn into a dip. So it's just been a very slow grind higher, which I'm not complaining about because I got long on Friday. But if you, if you weren't doing anything this week, th this week could have been a week that you really could have got yourself in trouble unless you were willing to literally just go ahead Close your eyes, buy it, and, and let it and let it do its thing. Which in an uptrend is in the worst is in the worst uh, you know risk reward uh, out there. So we'll see what Yellen says. We'll see what Draghi says, and then we head into the next week. As far as the charts go, since uh, since December 28th of 2012, there have been 15 opportunities for the market to trade to the upper band in this fashion. Uh, it has hit them every time except for one time, and that was right here. See these here, right here? Uh, June 23rd and June 24th, it failed the upper band. The bands were fairly tight, though, and what it did was it came back, tested the middle band. You can see the short distance there, not the wide distance that we're talking about here, and it hit the upper band a few days later. With the bands as wide as they are now, it has never failed to touch the band since New Year's Day, you know, 2013. So I'm playing the percentages. I'm still long. I'm rolling up my stops. My stops right now are uh, 1978 uh, quarter. Uh, I wanted to steer through clear of 83, and I'm glad I did because that was the low of the night. If I woke up this morning, stopped out, I would not be a happy camper. And, uh, you know, my, my target is the upper band, which currently stands right now at about 2001. Okay, everybody have a great day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Check out the chat room. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast. Trade them well.